What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. In tonight's episode, we'll be doing another stock market technical analysis update and we will always start out by looking at the ticker symbol SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button to help me out. And if you haven't already and want to follow along on all of my technical analysis, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now let's go ahead and crack open these charts and see what's going on in the stock market today. So the day that we've been waiting for for so long the test of the previous all-time high at $338 finally was tested today now if we zoom in here we can see that we went right up to that level before ultimately closing the day down about a dollar lower now keep in mind when it comes to levels of resistance like this that are way too obvious it's going to seem like a lot of double topping scenarios could play out here and I think that's exactly what won't happen the reason I say that a double topping scenario is not likely to happen is because when something in the stock market seems that obvious, it's probably not going to happen the way that you think it will. Now to prove this point, if we jump over to this chart here, we can see that there's almost 50% of traders that are still bearish. We see here that neutral is about 30%, which is right in line with the historical average that it's normally about 31%. And there's always going to be people on the sidelines waiting to get in. So you're always going to see people that are neutral but the main thing that tells me that this market will not go down and we will not see a double top just yet is how many people are still bearish these people are the people who will continue to try to short this market and will only drive it higher causing it to melt up and go parabolic before we ultimately see the true correction now with only 23 percent people bullish you can see here the historical average is 38 percent which further proves the point the fact that the market is not bullish actually means that the market will probably continue to go up that's just how things work when everybody's bearish and there's a lot of fear the market tends to do well and when there's a lot of euphoria and everybody's bullish the market typically has significant pullbacks so how does that play into tonight's analysis well if we go back and we look at a possible double topping scenario where we came up and tested the previous all-time high we're likely to see a lot of bears try to come in and short this market and really what that leads to is a short squeeze where eventually the bears will have to cover at higher prices and we could see somewhat of a parabolic melt up and possibly go all the way up into the 350s on the S&P 500. Now you've heard me been saying for weeks now that I expect to see at least a price level of 341. So when we get up to 341, there's another possibility that the bears will come in and try to short, ultimately drive the price lower, test this previous all time high, and then continue to bounce higher as those shorts get squeezed. That is actually a high probability chance because of all of the people that are bearish in this market that we could actually start seeing short squeezes at these levels and we could start to see parabolic price action that will drive us to significantly higher prices and also we could probably have significant gap ups where the price will actually leave a gap now to prove this point and show you how this scenario works if we go back in time and we see here in June everybody knew that this level here in March on actually March 4th that we had this high and look how everybody came up to this price level and it started to seem like we were gonna double top around that level and then what happened two or three days later is we had this huge gap up and we had three bullish days of price action where the price stayed well above that level that it seemed that we were double topping at this is because of how many people are bearish in this market everybody's watching these same levels of resistance and they're expecting them to act as resistance and when you expect something to happen it's normally not going to happen the way you expect it so last time we had this scenario we did see a parabolic melt up and we had two giant bullish days in a row and a giant gap up here to put this into perspective this gap up here was over 1.4 percent that's a huge price action move overnight now remember gaps typically get filled and we did see this turn into an island reversal pattern as the gap actually got filled with another gap which left another gap open now that's what the market does is it tries to trick people as much as it can and right now based off of that survey we see how many people are still bearish this scenario is very likely to play out again 
where we have a few days of absolute parabolic melt up price action and that will possibly lead to a follow up with a blow off the top and we'll see a significant correction. So remember after this island reversal we went through this significant phase of correction where we had this sort of ABC pattern and the price really didn't go anywhere for a few weeks. Now pulling that all together and going into today we could easily see that same scenario happen to finish out this week where we see this significant gap up into this 340 range possibly have a further melt up and start pushing up towards the 350s before ultimately coming back down and closing these lower gaps. Now remember, gaps typically get filled, so we're not ignoring the fact that there's these two gaps below us and this much larger significant gap even lower below that. However, we have to look at the landscape of the environment of the price action we're in right now and we're near a double top. So the last thing I expect to have happen is that the bears are just going to win, the bulls are going to give up, and the market's just gonna be that obvious. That is not likely to be the case. It's still a scenario that we did see a double top and we start heading back down to close these gaps before ultimately heading higher. But either way, there's higher price side coming. We did not see the top of this market just yet. So as I've been repeatedly saying, do not short this market. It is way too difficult to time shorting at the perfect time. And more than likely, even if you're right that the market has to come down, the market could continue to run up go to much higher prices that are much more rational and don't make sense, then the price could correct from there and still come down and correct higher than where you shorted and you're still losing money. So these scenarios can play out so many different ways and when you're in a market that is this irrational and there's this many bears and we're still at all time highs, that's really a landscape for a melt up and the price to continue to go higher. Even if it doesn't rationally make sense, it could still happen that way in the stock market. The price action does not have to resemble the sentiment of the investment. So right now I'm still projecting that we're we're going to see a price target of 341 and it could happen in a very quick parabolic motion just like I've been describing. So look for that to happen, but on the downside, we still do have support at these gap levels and we're still watching to see if these gaps close at $330 and $327. So in any scenario that we have another cool off like yesterday, you're still not going to panic because I'm telling you time and time again that these trends are still very bullish. And even though there's risk in this market, there's still a very strong bullish uptrend and the market does not care how much risk there is. The market is going to do what the market wants to do and right now the price action is telling us the market still wants to go higher we see that with the price action closing well above the 5 ema and the 5 ema still well above the 13 ema we still have this nice upward sloping 20 simple moving average as well and as long as you see these technical indications it is impossible to be bearish on this market. I don't care how bearish you are, these are all bullish indications and you should not be shorting a market that is this bullish. So let's go ahead and jump over to the NASDAQ 100, which we see had a wonderful day closing up 2.5% today. Now the NASDAQ 100 is still off from its all time high, which is right here around $274. So we'll go ahead and draw that line in because we expect to see the NASDAQ 100 head up to this $280 level. Now remember with the NASDAQ 100, the trend remains bullish as long as the 5 EMA stays above the 13 EMA, and that is exactly what we still have. So remember I said in last night's video, I expected the NASDAQ 100 to come down and close that gap that we had here, and we had that gap closed as of yesterday. So that tells us that the cool off period could be coming to an end and that was exactly what happened because we see a lot of bullish action today after that gap closed. Remember, gaps act as support when they're below the price action. So anytime we see gaps close, that's going to be a bullish indication that there could be support being found. And we also saw the NASDAQ 100 find support right above its 20 simple moving average, which is another very bullish trend. As long as the price action can stay above the 20 simple moving average and the 5 EMA can stay above the 13 EMA, the NASDAQ 100 QQQ ETF still looks like it wants to come up here and get to this $280 level. Now we will have a new resistance level now that we came down from the all time high around $274.60. So so we will wait and we'll watch to see a test of that level and see if we can break right through it and get up to this $280 level. Now once we get to $280, I do expect to see the market cool off a little bit and that will look something like this ABC correction pattern and ultimately find support before running back up on another bull momentum rally. So there's still some upside price target in the NASDAQ 100 and look for this trend to continue as long as these EMAs stay in the bullish momentum direction which we still have.
have. So let's jump over to the financials and check out some of the other sectors. And we see the financials had a wonderful open way up here, but the price gave it all back throughout the day and the price closed way down below to actually end the day in the red. Now we're still waiting for the financials to come up and test the 200 simple moving average. And you can see here today that the price action came down and closed this open gap. So remember, gaps closing below us is a bullish sign. And now we expect to see financials find support and now have the support to bounce off and test up here at this 200 simple moving average. So I fully expect to see the financials make a comeback now that the gap is closed below. And we're waiting to see if the financials can break and close above the 200 simple moving average. And then ultimately come up here and try to close above and form a new higher high, which will really get this bull market going in the sector that the financials have been lagging the most. But it would be nice to see the financials catch up and show that they're also bullish by forming this new higher high above this price target level up here. So now that the financials close the gap below and we have these bullish trends, I expect to see the price action continue higher and close above this 200 simple moving average to confirm the move to the upside. Now, if we go over the industrials, we still have a gap below us on the industrials. So I still think there's time on the clock for the industrials to still be cooling off. And I do think we will see this small gap close before ultimately heading higher. So the industrials did close up a little bit, but there's still this gap below, which I think we will see close up while we're still trading above the Bollinger Band. There's still time on the clock for this price action to come down a little bit and possibly bounce off this previous high before heading higher. Now we already know technology did well with the NASDAQ 100 and we can see here that the healthcare sector also did very well making a new high and breaking out of its consolidation pattern that it's been trading within for a few weeks now. Now the healthcare industry actually closed at a new all-time high for a closing price because we can see here that this candle closed well above these previous highs. The 5 EMA is still above the 13 EMA and the bullish price action is still in the healthcare sector. So yes, technology and healthcare took some time to cool off and consolidate their gains, but they're now ready for their next leg higher and that's exactly what we're seeing. So overall bullish price action all around and even though financials and industrials didn't have the amazing day that healthcare and technology had, they're also still consolidating their previous gains where they had great days when health and technology were still consolidating. So the sectors are just taking turns being bullish, but overall, all of these sectors look very bullish. Let's quickly take a look at the dollar and there's not too much to report here. We did have a red day, but still trading well above what's possibly a trend reversal since we've seen this double bottom pattern here. We'll continue to watch the dollar because as you know, as the dollar strengthens, we expect to see asset prices start to correct a little bit. But right now, now, the dollar still weak and we're watching this trend to see if it's going to head higher and we're going to see the dollar regain some strength and of course we need to take a look at the VIX which is our fear indicator and we see that the VIX closed above our support line yesterday however today closed back below so right now it's looking like yesterday's price action was just a cool off and the VIX had a little bit of a scare however fear is now exiting the market again and the VIX now closed at 22.3 which is well below our resistance and support level that we've been monitoring of 23.5 so we still expect to see the VIX head lower towards that 18 level as we continue to see the S&P 500 make new all-time highs so right now it's still looking like the S&P 500 spy ETF is heading for the 340s and then I do expect to see that short squeeze and that melt up and that parabolic price action which could send us all the way up to about 350s after that I think we need to start talking about a blow off the top and a correction scenario but right now do not short this market there is too much bullish momentum in this market to try to call the top so please remember to smash the like button on this video because it really Really helps me out and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along on this technical analysis we do these videos every single week so thanks for watching and as always I will see you in the next episode